Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got a little Walmart haul. Um, I haven't been to Walmart in a hot minute. I try not to shop there very much. I try to support local businesses and uh, small businesses online. But, you know, sometimes you just gotta go to Walmart. I'm sorry. So I got a few things that I needed um, and I also got a few surprise things. So let's just get into it. So the first thing, the first thing I got, I, is the reason I went to the store. I was hoping that they had these. So these are two traveler's notebook inserts. And from what I understand, these are approximately B6 size. So I'm hoping that they will work well in my new honeybee shop, uh, traveler's notebook cover. I just got it yesterday. I'm a total newbie and I already got more inserts, <laughs> but let's take a look at these. So I saw, I saw someone get these and when they did their haul, um, and I forget her YouTube name, but I will put her in the uh, description box because she's the one who uh, informed me of these. And they also had another set of inserts, but I just didn't like the way that they looked, so I didn't get them. Also, the big thing about these is they were, so number one, it was the last pack. And so when I saw it, I was like, oh my god, it's the last one. And they were marked down, and they were $2.96. Or two, actually, when I rang them up, because they said $2.96 or $2.97 or whatever, when I rang them up, they were like $2.20 something. So that's a pretty good price. Um, they feel, without even opening them, they feel very nice. They've got the nice stitching there along the spine. And they both have gold foil. So this one is obviously a daily insert. And I'm planning on using this for um, daily mood tracking. So I think this will be perfect. Ooh, it's grid. Ooh, this is nice. Okay, maybe I'm not using it for daily mood tracking. Because <laughs> uh, I'm not going to be like, in the morning, I was tired. In the afternoon, I, like, I'll find I'll find a use for this. Um, this could be, maybe I will end up switching to using this as a planner, but I don't think so. I, I just don't, I like my disc bound for my planner. Um, but I am going to find a use for this. But this is really the reason I bought it etc because it's just a blank insert it's just lined and I can use it for whatever um the paper is you know it's not the best paper but it's not the worst either uh the honeybee shop paper is obviously much nicer but I'm sure I will find um a use for this it's very cute it's very nice but again, the main reason I bought it was for, you know, for this. Um, and this could also be like literally a traveler's <laughs> notebook. So when I am traveling again, which, yeah, who knows when that'll be, um, I could use this because I wanted to have something. So originally my husband and I were supposed to go on a trip uh, this November, which we obviously are postponing due to the pandemic. Um but I wanted to have something to bring with me to document things and like have important things on hand, not just on my phone. So um, this could be perfect for that actually. So like if we're going on a trip, we could have morning itinerary, afternoon, evening, and then important hope to do. Yeah, that could be perfect actually. So this would last me a really, really long time if I use it for that. Um, and I think I just might, I think that might be a really good use for this. So. Perfect, and then I've got my plain lined insert for whatever I want. And I'll probably use this for um, journaling and reflecting, things like that. So, very excited. So that's the first thing. Uh, this, nothing too exciting, but I needed some tape runners, and uh, Walmart seems to have the best price on this thing. Michael's is, like, I don't know what is up with Michael's, but they're charging way too much for this thing. And they charge more for um, the refills than they do for the actual thing. So why are people going to buy the refills? So anyway, I got this and a refill. It was 
two dollars and something I can't exactly remember and I got some glue um, to use for just various things I don't you know just nice to have some glue on hand I don't have any um, but I really needed a tape runner so I figured I'd go ahead and get some refills so that's pretty boring but that's something I got uh, this is a beautiful Scotch Expressions washi tape and it is purple iridescent like look how pretty this is like oh my gosh I love it so that's that I guess I can go ahead and open it so pretty I'm excited next is something I've wanted for a while I got some tabs to use um, since I'm doing basically a disc bound uh, bullet journal style planner I wanted to have some tabs because here let me pull it out as you can see which I don't mind having these uh, my current tabs are just pieces of washi tape um, so I can't like write the month on it or anything so this is you know I want this to say August this is my August monthly that I made so um, I wanted to get some tabs I don't think I want to use these for um, for this planner currently just because that doesn't really go with the way the front looks um, but it, they were just too cute not to get and um, they are repositional and uh, yeah I'm pretty pretty excited two-sided tab and these are metallic which I thought were really pretty um, you get 24 of them again they're repositional and or position repositionable and so I thought these would be perfect to use as um, monthly tabs and then here where I have this washi on the top um, this just kind of marks like where I have this dashboard and this is where I keep my extra paper so I thought I could just use that smaller one for that um, and the washi tape tab, I actually really like that for my um, my brand new traveler's notebook. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, this washi is also Scotch brand, like the purple one I picked up. And it's just really thick and it's cute. So I'm going to use that in my traveler's notebook. At least that's my current plan. You can see here I needed to use a tape runner to connect these pages and kind of glue them together. So I will do that. By the way... Uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you will not have seen these yet. So these discs, I'm straight up obsessed, in love. They're even better than I thought they were going to be. Um, and I find my pages actually turn like a lot easier than they did um, with the HP and also the ARC discs. I mean, they just, I just really like them. They're so pretty. They're, um, the color is called Antique Gunmetal. If you can see, like, a close-up of them, um, they're just, they're just really, really pretty. Um, the brand is Disquette, D-I-S-C-E-T-T-E. I got them on Amazon. They were about $11, um, but this was the only size available on Amazon, which is 28 millimeter. Um, so they're basically like a mini uh, HP disc, like the size between a mini and a classic, so... Here, let's show you. So before on this planner, I had these, which are the ARC uh, expander discs, which they're just too big. I'm not carrying a lot around in my uh, catch-all planner right now, so I didn't feel the need to have these big giant discs on there. Um, so here, here is a HP Mini and then an HP Classic. So you can see... Um, well, here, actually, this will be easier to show you. It actually came with 11, which is great. So this is a, an extra one. It has a nice weight to it. It's actually heavier than this, like a lot heavier than this. Here's an HP metal disc. It, I mean, it's there's no comparison. This is much heavier. And so you can see the size difference. This is a mini, and this is... So it, it fits right in there. So it's just a little bit bigger than a mini Happy Planner disc. Um, but again, it's, it's much heavier. It, the pages turn really easy. Um, and it's just beautiful. I love this color, this antique gunmetal. I am very, very pleased. It's, they look better in person than they did, uh, in the photo. 
and the reviews were great for him. So I'm going to leave a review myself. I'm really, really happy. That was not a part of the uh, Walmart haul, but just wanted to show you that. So a couple more things here. Um, I picked this up on clearance. It was about 50 cents and I just bought it to use um, as a prop for photos for Instagram. It's my favorite color and it's cute and that's really all there is to say <laughs> about that. This has nothing to do with planners or <laughs> or anything, but they had this China Glaze uh, nail polish on sale. It's from the Trolls World Tour uh, collection, and I thought it was a really pretty color. Uh, the shade is called Can't Stop Branching. So, um, yeah, I needed a new nail polish, and uh, that's all there is to that. So... We have two more things here. Uh, one of them is from Walmart and one of them is from Big Lots. I actually ran into Big Lots and I bought one thing, which is really good for me. I have to show you guys this. Look at this candle. So it's a two wick candle. It's very heavy. This, oh my God, it's just so pretty. So this was in the Halloween section. Oh, and it smells like caramel apple. And the brand is called Gothic Glamour, and it was $6. And they actually had a uh, teacher discount today. It was uh, 10%, which, hey, 10% is 10%. So um, I just thought this was really pretty. And the final thing, I'm really excited about this. So I didn't, um, didn't know that Walmart was going to have something like this. And I actually found it near, like, um, where they have all the not not the scrapbooking stuff but actually near the like um sewing stuff they had this and um i just thought it looked really interesting it's assorted papers and cardstock and uh let's just let's open this thing up and check it out so also when it was on the shelf um the price said five dollars i get up to the register $2.97 for all this. Now, I have no clue what, I mean, you can't even like see everything you're buying. And you can't obviously like feel it and know the quality, but I was just so intrigued. I just had to check this out. And for $2.97, like, come on. So this is pretty. This is very, the texture is very, uh, very nice. And I thought that I could I, I want to start like layering things, especially now in my new traveler's notebook. Um, just kind of like gluing things down and layering with like photos and things. So I thought this would be perfect. This is really pretty. There's a lot of glitter fallout. Let me just say that. Uh, this would be pretty for like, this looks very Christmassy to me. Ooh, it's nice brown. The texture, I really like the texture on these papers. So you get two of those. Ooh, I like this one. Ooh. Oh, this is nice. Oh my gosh, I love the textures on these. That's pretty. Ooh. Okay, so we got more of the same here. I'm glad you get a lot of these because I really like these white ones. They're like speckled, you know. The texture on here is really cool. Ooh. Man, this is a lot of stuff. Oh man, look at that. It's pretty. Ooh. Oh, I like this. Oh man, check that out. Oh my god, I love this one. Dude, this is a lot of stuff. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so exciting. It's like the most random assortment of... <laughs> this is just regular like, cardstock here. Ooh, that's a little ripped piece of paper. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty. We've got a lot of glitter going on. Ooh. Yeah, this is really cool. Oh my gosh, the texture, this paper. Look at that. 
Oh, this is going to be so much fun. Ooh. Oh, that color, honey. Yes. My gosh, these are like perfectly sized if I was still doing a lot of big memory keeping. These are like that three by two, perfect size for the boxes and the big. Oh my God, the uh, purple. Oh my gosh, I, I am so excited about this. The textures on these are just really cool. I think this will be so fun for memory keeping in my new traveler's notebook. Um, I love layering things, so I think this will be really cool for layering with like washi and pictures and Oh, this is so, this is awesome. And you have this size here. Oh, snap. Look at these. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh. Dude, this is freaking awesome. Oh, I love, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh, dude, this is awesome. It's such an assortment of like all kinds of texture and color and pattern and like, I'm here for it. Oh my god, these pink ones with it has like yarn on it. Like, oh my god, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to get started. This color is absolutely beautiful, and that texture is everything. Oh my god. Okay, so. If you go to Walmart, um, I would I would recommend this. Uh, again, it's called a scrap pack. It says scrap pack assorted cardstock down here. Um, made in India. That's cool. And uh, yeah, highly recommend that because this is really cool. I have to figure out where I'm going to store these. Um, probably in my, um, my drawer cart thing from Michael's. I ha I think I have an empty drawer in there I could use. So I'm going to, after I'm done filming, I'm going to sort these by size and then, um, figure out where I'm going to store them. But I am definitely looking forward to, um, getting started with, with decorating um, in my new B6 Traveler's Notebook from the Honey Bee Shop. Very, very excited. And my new inserts. And, oh my gosh. So I'm still trying to figure out exactly what my setup is going to be. Um, again, I did not, I did not realize that it came with a, um, a daily insert but actually I, I really think um, that this would be perfect for like traveling and also for like on the go um, because my classic planner I'd really like to um, I mean I always pretty much keep it at home um, back when I was going into the office I would always struggle with like do I want to keep it at work? I would usually keep it at work and then sometimes I would get it home and be like, man, I really wish I had my planner. Um, so now that I'm working from home, it, I mean, it's not a problem. Um, but for like on the go things that are not work related, um, this could be perfect. I think there could be a lot of uses for this uh, in my life. So I'm very excited to get into this. And I've got all these. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't believe how many papers come in this freaking thing for like three bucks, you know, two ninety seven or whatever. And again, on the shelf, it said five dollars. 
And I remember like picking it up and being like, wow, that's a lot of stuff for five bucks. And then it ended up being half the price of that pretty much. Um, there were only a couple left, so maybe other people were buying it too. But again, I found this uh, by where they have like the sewing stuff, which is pretty random. But I was just walking down all the arts and crafts aisles just to see what I could find. And very glad that I did because I normally wouldn't go down there because I'm not someone who sews. So I wouldn't go down there. But um, yeah, this is a lot of stuff. Wow, I really, really like that one. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Um, again, I will be making some videos about uh, setting up my uh, very first traveler's notebook. And uh, hopefully you guys will come along for the ride. Join me with that. I'm excited and I'm really excited about all this new paper I got and uh, the washi tape and, and everything. So uh, more videos to come. So be sure you give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you have not already. You know, click the little uh, the little gray play button and make that button red. Um, and click on the bell to be notified whenever I upload. You get you can get a push notification on your phone um, every time that I upload. So um, I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Thanks for being here and supporting my channel. And um, I'll see you next time. Thank you.